Welcome fans to the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Arlen here with our analysts Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. So happy you've joined us. And it's time to check the starting five brought to you by State Farm. First for the 76ers, Holiday and Meeks in the backcourt. And the man in the middle from Washington, the big guy, Spencer Hawks. He's a big part of that presence down low. And there's Iguodala, and it's Brand in at the four-man position. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. Outside Holiday. From deep three-point range, Iguodala. No good. On defense, the 76ers. A three ball. That is good. A good way to get things started here. Steve, always nice to get the first points up on the board. At least I felt that way. Outside Holiday. On the wing, it's Iguodala. Back to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Well, on the pump fake, the ball was exposed, and that allowed him to get a hand on it and take it away. Number 44. And he finishes at the rack. Seems like that finger roll just comes naturally to him. Great touch. And Doris Burke spoke with Doug Collins. Doris. Kevin, he had high praise for the defense they're up against, but didn't go so far as to say they are unbeatable. He feels he has a game plan lined up that should allow them to slowly chip away at their defensive structure and allow them to control their chances on offense. Kevin, let's see how it plays out. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. What approach to use against the opposing D, I guess, in the front of their minds, it sounds like, Clark. Yeah, well, it's a tall task when you take on a team as sound defensively as they are so you just have to be sharp in your execution steve yeah yeah you got to be sharp but you also have to attack i mean if you're not aggressive against this team they're going to take control of you and all of a sudden uh, they'll have control of the game outside holiday backing down his brand and there's the three second violation both teams will make substitution With four seconds on the clock, and he put too much on that one. He'll usually knock that shot down. He sure will, but that's one he couldn't pass up. It's a five-point game. And he lays it straight in. Man, their offense is really cranked up in the second quarter. Yeah, they've got it going now. Above 60% shooting for the night, and it's going to be tough to beat them when they shoot it like that. Here's Williams. Knocks down the three ball. Williams has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Number 44, guarded by Holiday. On the post, number 44. Soft touch off the glass. Boy, and their offense scorching now. Red hot. They've really turned it on. I don't think they can play any better, guys. I mean, they are just making it look easy out there. Outside, Williams. 
releases from 15. And Drew Holiday, the bucket on the assist by Turner. Holiday's got his first points of the night. Williams with the steal. Oops, you gotta watch it if you bring the ball down when you're on the low block. And Holiday with the basket on the assist by Turner. Holiday's got four this quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Taken away by Holiday. So a couple of poor possessions now in a row consecutive. Both times turnover. That's not productive basketball. That's not winning basketball. No, nah, Clark, you know, you start stringing errors back to back together, you lose all momentum in this game. And we'll see you in just a moment. The lead is two. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, hey, Kevin, for Coach Doug Collins, it's always been about being candid with his players. As Andre Iguodala says, he loves the relationship, saying, I always wanted that with the coach, to have an open dialogue and tell me the truth. I think we need that. The Sixers enjoyed some success with Coach Collins, guys. Thanks, Doris. Good line of communication there with Coach Collins. And really with the coach, that's what you want as a player. I mean, honesty and the feeling you can talk to him candidly and straightforward. And the first one drops. And so he hits both. Here's Holiday. Iguodala, right side. Six to shoot. Pause, dishes to Iguodala. From deep. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. One twenty-five left in the third quarter. Number five, guarded by Hards. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Heads up play, preventing the easy layup. Yeah, I like that. I mean, he saw it was a free layup, didn't want to give that up, so he fouled him to force free throws. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Holiday. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. The pass to Meeks. Stolen away. And a nice swipe there. You can see his eyes get wide open when he saw the opportunity to take the ball. Open look. The shot misses. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Iguodala, the pass to Holiday. Kicks it to Hawks. Back and down. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at six. Now here's Iguodala. Defense right on him. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. 
Puts it up. And no good trying to get that one. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Don't go away. We'll see you in a moment. I agree with you. And we'll see if he can maintain it. He's been going full throttle thus far. Well, the pace he's been going has been really incredible. And uh, I wonder if he's got anything left here in the fourth quarter. Backing down his brand. Releases. They grab their own miss. And Young kicks to Turner. Iguodala outside. Brand right side. He drains the turnaround jump shot. Brand's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the 76ers. Number 99, guarded by Holiday. Turner with the steal. Now that's what the doctor ordered. Just a humongous defensive play. Iguodala, this is to Turner. Deflected! He wasn't paying any attention to the defense. Poor pass there. Less than one minute left. Tell you what, credit the defense there. They really contested that layup. Rocket six. To tie it up. Count it. A huge shot to tie it up. Huge bucket. They don't get much bigger than that, Steve. The home team take a 20-second timeout. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Coach address his team. He said in no uncertain terms, we're going to have to do it with grit and guts, but that's nothing new for us. That's exactly who we are. Guys? Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Williams comes in for Evan Turner. Number 99, he's guarded by Williams. Oh, off target. Timeout called the 76ers. Here's Meeks. Outside Holiday. Number 99. Oh, he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Regulation is ended. We're heading to overtime. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Here's Meeks. Outside Holiday. Here's Meeks. Five on the clock. And it ends up out of bounds. Andrew Williams is checked in for the 76ers. <laughs> 23 seconds left in the first overtime. Count. Count it! As if there was any question, Kev. He's just not phased by the pressure. He stays focused and always makes big plays. An impressive victory in overtime after an exciting end in regulation. You know what? In a long game, fatigue can sometimes affect every aspect of play. Um, they didn't look tired at all to me. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.